42 Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum joins us now, and I think I heard rain in the studio. <laughs> there was rain. I definitely saw lightning. <laughs> Yes, definitely have the rain out there. There are some thunderstorms over parts of western Jefferson County. Now I can see downtown some of the raindrops on our BJCC camera lens. And this is what we're looking at this evening. Some of this rain coming in 77 our temperature. The dew point near 70 degrees. It's very muggy out there and you can see in the latest radar. There's just some rain from Clanton area through Childersburg area heading toward Chelsea. Also from Birmingham all the way toward Tuscaloosa, Carrollton area, Fayette back toward Jasper, Double Springs, Coleman, all of us getting some showers. It may be a little noisy out there with the thunder and lightning, but nothing severe with this. Some downpours coming on in all basically what we're looking at from reform back over toward Carrollton. You can see here across uh, Pickens County some of the rain moving through back over toward Fayette as well. Uh, so we're seeing some of these downpours continue to move on in. Tuscaloosa is drying out now, which is good. But as we go over toward Birmingham here and you can see near Gardendale, some of those downpours coming into the area and kind of zooming in a little tighter. We'll show you that uh, you can see Gardendale area, Adamsville, Mulga, Pleasant Grove, Fairfield area through Birmingham and South. You can see some of the rain coming through had a little rain in Homewood. Now it's heading over toward Trustful Rose Hill area back toward Inverness area back over toward Hoover. A little bit some light rain back toward uh, say Hickory Grove, Pinecrest, Bessemer getting some of those showers too. And then as we go on closer toward Harpersville area back over toward again Wilsonville and going down toward all the way there towards say Talladega Springs, Fayetteville, Columbiana, Hillsdale getting some pretty good downpours. All this slowly working its way here to the north and as it does so that's kind of what we're looking at as we go forward here throughout the rest of the evening. A lot of this will start dying out over the next couple of hours. As you see, those showers here back in the Mississippi no longer really holding together anymore. And this will be the trend for us as it drifts its way up toward Coleman and Jasper as well, getting some of those downpours this evening. All this part of a cluster of storms that was erasing out of Arkansas earlier has died out. Now I'll be watching this next cluster developing near Oklahoma City. That actually is something we'll be dealing with for tomorrow across our area as part of a cold front that will work its way into the area. Not until Thursday, but the storms out ahead of it will get here before that time. So this evening we are looking at again, maybe one or two stronger storms possible. I think the severe threats really diminishing at this point here, but could produce some gusty winds, maybe some pea sized hail with some of those thunderstorms as well. Lows tonight will be in the upper 60s to lower 70s, so very muggy weather. And tomorrow as the kids head to camp, we're looking at 76 in the morning, but the chance rain does increase a little bit later on in the afternoon around 60% as highs will be in the upper 80s. So we'll continue tracking some of that rain. Notice how it falls apart, comes back to Together, maybe by three o'clock in the morning. The morning commute could see some rain over the eastern part of the state as we head throughout the day Wednesday, maybe a little break in the afternoon before we start seeing a few more storms popping up during the evening hours here on Wednesday. They'll work the way off there to the east of us here by Wednesday at 11 o'clock. And then Thursday, as the front comes in, will bring us a little more of some of that wet weather. But behind the front, that humidity drops to more comfortable levels for a couple of days. Thursday, Friday into Saturday before going back up. And unfortunately, that'll bring us some wetter weather as we head into the latter part of the weekend. So watch out for some strong scattered strong storms out there tomorrow. 88 degrees, 89 Thursday, less human, more comfortable, refreshing, a little cooler air in the morning as well before muggy weather returns Sunday and so does the rain.